bra bulge, love handles, back fat. However you look at it, excess fat on your back is not a pretty picture. We're here to change that. Here's a multi-step approach to getting rid of it. Hey guys, so as a woman, we all know that dreaded back fat, especially in the summer when we have to start putting on tank tops or if we're at the gym and we're wearing something and we kind of start noticing something funny happening here, maybe something a little weird's going on around here, even down in our lower back. So we all know those problem areas. So what causes back fat? So number one, trying to spot reduce. We all know this does not work. It's great to do exercises, but if you're sitting there all day, like I'm just gonna rep this thing out and burn that, it's not gonna happen. So please stop doing that. <laughs> number two, lack of use. Maybe you're somebody who's really focused on just working out your legs and you don't really work your upper body very much. That can be a problem, so lack of use. Number three, extra pounds. That's really gonna be the critical one. Anytime you're carrying any extra body fat, it's gonna show up usually in the areas where our body tends to store the fat. So that's usually something to really think about is maybe getting rid of the extra, extra weight that could be causing it poor posture. So a lot of times, maybe the way we're holding ourselves and walking around, that could be causing certain areas to maybe look a little bit more emphasized than they really are because of maybe the way we're having our, our daily posture. Okay, so these are five proven steps to kind of get rid of the back fat. So number one, eating cleaner and healthier foods. We all have heard it a million times cleaning up our diet, but it really does make a difference. I cannot tell you how cleaning up your diet is really gonna make a difference because if you're every day rushing around, you're eating fast food, you're kind of just grabbing whatever's in, in the pantry at home or in the office, it's all gonna add up. And that's when all of a sudden those extra pounds are on and you're feeling like, how in the world did I get here? So by eating cleaner and just really being conscientious of our diet is the first step. Number two, get moving with cardio exercises. So it's great if you're doing resistive training, but adding in a little bit of cardio is great too. I recommend at least three to four days a week, at least 30 minutes maximum, uh, really getting however you're doing it. If you're on the treadmill, you're on a stepper, if you love plyometrics, however you do it, do something to get your heart rate up. Number three, uh, strength train your entire body. So today I will be showing um, some, er some exercises to kind of target that area, but as we all know, we're not trying to spot reduce. I'm just trying to get you to maybe use the area if you're not using it very much. Um, but we really wanna think about exercising the entire body. So it's those full body, a lot of compound movements, all of that is really gonna get our metabolism going, and that's how we're gonna start burning those calories, burning the fat. Okay, uh, practice good posture, as I was talking about earlier. Maybe the way we're carrying ourselves can emphasize different areas. So just thinking about always trying to keep good posture is good anyway. And doing exercises for that specific area. We're not spot reducing, reducing. we're just gonna look at kind of strengthening the area with doing kind of pointed exercises, even though the goal is to really work your entire body. Some of these exercises that I'm gonna show you really do incorporate the entire body. That's the way I try to think about my exercises. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. All right, so with these five exercises, I want you to think about doing 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. You can do anywhere from three to five rounds. Okay. So, and you can use any weight that you would like. You can start with something lighter, heavier. Uh, the first one we're gonna do is a reverse grip double arm row. I absolutely love these because they really engage the back better than a lot of things that I was doing. So what you're gonna do is you're just going to hold your dumbbells, you're gonna have wrists up, you're gonna have a slight bend in your knees, and you're just going to bring your arms back. So with this one, I'm really engaging. You can really see how I'm bringing those, uh, that scapular area back together, really hitting the back with this particular exercise. So we're just here, and we're just driving those elbows back. 
keeping a neutral head. I'm not really looking up or down. And this one is really great. I mean, right off the bat, this one's really hitting that upper back area. Okay, Renegade Row. So what I love about this is once again, we're kind of incorporating the whole body. We're using our abdominals, our legs are involved, our, our entire back area is involved. So I prefer using an elevation because I feel like you can get a better range of motion than if you're on the ground. So what I normally do is I get myself in my plank. I'm making sure my back is straight, my head is neutral and I'm just bringing the elbow up to the ceiling. I'm not opening my hips, I'm keeping my hips closed off. I'm keeping a nice straight line with my back and I'm just driving that elbow up to the ceiling. But I'm feeling that everywhere. I'm feeling that through my abdominals, my obliques, my hamstrings, my quads, my glutes, everywhere. Whew, so good exercise. Uh, crunching kick out push up. All righty, you're going to need a mat for this. I'm just going to pull this out a little bit. All right. What I love about this one, once again, I'm engaging the abs a little bit, but I'm really focusing on the back. A little bit of core. So with this one, you're just going to drive your knee in. Your hands are going to be out a little forward. You're going to, as you're kicking the leg out, you're going to tuck your elbows. You're going to press down and out. So we're really hitting upper back, lower back, a lot of different muscles with this, but this is really focusing on everything on the back. A lot of my lower back too, which can be another problem area. Kicking, lowering down, and really pushing through. All right, so take your break, hit the other leg. Even though you have only have one side, we're gonna do both sides with the leg because it does hit the, the back a little bit differently, the lower back. Okay, the next one, I love this one. This one, um, I would probably start with no weight to very light weight. Uh, with this weighted Superman, this does not take a lot of weight. So you're just going to, this is going to work your balance. You're just going to start on one leg, all in one movement. You're going to take your arms and your legs and you're just going to push them straight out. So I'm trying to get a straight line and back to start. So I'm pushing out. My abs are fully engaged. I'm really kicking. I'm holding for a good, you know, three second isometric hold, kicking out really feeling this through everything, my shoulders, my back, and press out. Yeah, very lightweight for that one. So once again, once you finished all of it, you just move to the other leg and do your opposite side. Okay, the last one, Bosu Pop-Up Frogger. What I love about this is we're gonna get a little bit more metabolic. We're really using the entire body for this. These are the types of exercises I do at the end of my workout because it gets the heart rate up. Um, it's fun. <laughs> and it's really strengthening my whole body. Even though I'm, I'm targeting a lot of my upper body, I'm using everything to do these movements. Okay, so we're gonna start on the BOSU here in a plank. If you need to, you can go down here and up, then pop to your frogger if you need to. Or you can go down, pop up, and explosively jump. Pop up, kick your feet out, hands out. Pop up, kick those feet out, and back down. So we're really getting a full body movement here. And that's what I was talking about earlier. Working your entire body, burning, getting everything moving. That's why it's, I just don't wanna sit there and do push-ups for 25 hours thinking, oh, well, that's gonna do it. No, it's, it's gonna be movements like this where I'm using my whole body 
explosively. That's what's gonna give you the changes you're looking for, along with diet and exercise, right? Okay. All right, you guys, I know it's a pesky problem. Hopefully I've given you some things to think about, some things you could change in your life to hopefully ease um, all of this into eliminating some of that back fat. Thanks for joining me today. Hit the like button, subscribe. Check out athleanxxforwomen.com if you haven't, and we'll work out soon.